Hey there, Simplifiers. Welcome back to my Organizing ABCs, where today we are talking about the letter J, and J is for junk. So we've all heard the term, one man's trash is another man's treasure. But what happens when those treasures become overwhelming? At what point is our or our loved ones collecting considered hoarding disorder? First, let's discuss the word junk. To me personally, I kind of see it like the word spicy. It's very relative based on the person that's using that word. The actual definition is old or discarded articles that are considered useless or no longer of value. And that's where some of us might look at the possessions or treasures of our loved ones or family members and think that they're no longer of value. But the problem is when somebody is dealing with hoarding disorder, they do see value and find those items useful. If you suspect that you or someone you love might be suffering from hoarding disorder, I highly recommend visiting the website of the Institute for Challenging Disorganization. And I'll link that down below so you can check out the resources that they have. Two really important important resources are the clutter hoarding scale that they provide. It's just a way to sort of self-assess or help your loved one assess where they are as far as hoarding disorder versus just chronically disorganized. They also have a great list of local resources for you to contact, like counselors and professional organizers that specialize in chronic disorganization who can come in and work alongside you as you start your process of clearing things out and dealing with those collectibles or treasures that are in your home. Do you have any questions about hoarding disorder or chronic disorganization as it pertains to you or a loved one? Please feel free to comment below and ask your questions or you can also email me, which I will put in the description below if you would like a more private conversation. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my organizing ABCs, and I will catch you back here tomorrow when we talk about the letter K, which is for kinesthetic, oral, or visual.